Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. And today we are finishing with Young J Do It album listen. We have four songs to go through Fluffy, Snooze, Thinking of You, and Never Leave You. Now, the first part of this album was so unexpected for me. I mean, no skip album so far, and God, his vocals and the melodies on some of these songs just absolutely took me out. Like, I was just attacked, apparently. But now we're entering, like, the second half of the album, and I did say that I think those ones are gonna be, like, the more, like, emotional songs. Um, so, and I think some of you told me that I was right. And for this, because my eyes are really tired, um, I've been filming a lot and trying to catch up on so many things. I'm gonna wear my glasses to read <laughs> the lyrics. Um, Cause yeah, it just, it feels better. Anyway, I guess let's dive right into it. And we're starting with Fluffy, who I know is for his dog, little Coco. So yeah, let's do it. I'm sure it's gonna be super cute. I know there was a there was a lyric video for it uh, with like like a little compilation of Coco, but I decided to go with the the lyrics, you know, the color credit lyrics. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's do this, Fluffy. Okay, sorry. Hopefully, I won't be bothered by like commercials or, or anything. We'll see. <laughs> belly and a round head. It's already cute. Oh, so cute. My fluffy world. I mean your Oh his voice. I know it's for his dog, but it makes me think of my cat who, who passed um, two, three year, two years ago. Stop it, that's so cute. The thing he played it to his dog. I think Coco liked it. Probably. I hope so. Stop. I think everyone who has a pet can relate to the song. Doesn't really matter what what pet you you have, like a dog or a cat, or even a even a bunny. Um, that was adorable. I kind of made me miss my cat a lot, because that's what happens. I mean, at least to me and for other like a lot of other people, and apparently Young Jay. Like when you 
when you have a pet, it, they really become like a part of your family. And losing my cat for me was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. Like I've, I have had it, like experienced loss, um, obviously prior to losing my cat, but because he, he, he died in such a, like he, he was way too young, like he was just six years old. And I always feel like I didn't spend enough time within, with him. Um, so losing him just out of the blue like this, like I never really knew what happened. Like one night, like he got outside and the next day, uh, my stepdad brought, brought him back, uh, to us and he was sadly dead. I don't really know what happened. Um, but it's like losing a part of you. So I totally get it. Like I totally get those lyrics and feeling like you're not doing enough and that you hope that they're happy because obviously they can't talk. Like they can talk the way we can talk. So you hope that, you know, they feel all the love that you're giving them. And I'm sure they do, especially dogs. Like I'm not a dog person, but I know that relationship must be even more special. I'm definitely 100% a cat person. Um, but even, even with cats, like any cat owner will tell you that that relationship that you have is also, it's just that special, you know? Uh, so yeah, that was really adorable. Okay, next song is Snooze. Love this little acoustic guitar, okay. Can you come down with the vocals? He's freaking lower register again. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh God, he really knows how to write. I mean, did you write those songs? I forgot to check, but anyway. Whoever wrote those songs really know how to write like love songs for sure. <laughs> This one so much. This part is so nice. Oh my god, 
God, his voice, seriously. That was so nice. I loved the melody on this one too. This is such a good album. Seriously, this is such a good album. And now we're on part, we're on the part that I'm scared. Like those last two songs. Because Fluffy was cute and Snooze was very sweet and I love the melody. But now we're on, is it this one that's supposed to be for Agassé? Because I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Um, but I guess we have to. We have to. Okay, thinking of you. All right. Not the piano. Okay. I'm not sure if it's this one though. It's just probably the last song. Hold on, nah, we have to hear that again. That was such a beautiful song. That was such a beautiful song. Wow. And again, his voice on this. Okay, so now I'm confused because it didn't feel like it was a song for the fans. So is it this one, Never Leave You Alone? Must be this one then. 
right? But seriously, seriously, that song was gorgeous. Okay, last one. So I'm guessing if it, if it is this one, then yeah, okay. I guess we'll we'll just have to see and get through this. God. <sighs> All right. Well, um, whew, that was a beautiful, beautiful song. Obviously, the fact that he even has to ask, like, any, like any of them really have to ask, like, why are you still by my side? Um. I mean that's bonkers to me like seriously I mean we're still here because I mean I'm speaking for myself here but I'm speaking for a lot of Agassi probably um, we're still here because they fought not only for themselves but for us too and they're still here and they still call themselves God 7 even when they have solo schedules and solo activities they always 
greet the fans as hi i am god seven you know one of the member doing a show like bam bam he's doing his tour and he's always i'm god seven bam bam uh same from yu um and of course all of them like they always be god seven i mean that's the whole reason why jb had to go through all of that and make sure that they kept their name um so that's why we're here is because i don't know a lot of groups that will fight this hard against their own company to not only keep their name and all of their copyrights but also because they love their fans so much that they wanted to make sure that we knew that we could like still count on them and that we could trust them and that they could trust us and that is just really beautiful so yeah that relationship between god seven and agase is so special um because of all those reasons and that's why we're still here because they deserve they deserve it like they really like they have all of my respect and all of my love and all of my gratitude that they're still here and will be waiting and you know what what's what's even better somehow is that as far as like you know the uh, enlistment goes it's not even all of them that have to go um like mark jackson and bam bam they'll be here so they'll keep us busy because there's they're always doing something and i'm just so proud of them and i know and trust that they will come back one day to us as god seven all seven of them because they did it before and they gave us like one of my absolute favorite albums by them and that was after you know all that mess with uh that company <laughs> um so i know they'll do it again eventually it will just have to be patient and again they deserve it i will wait 10 years if i have to but i'll be there like as soon as they release something new i'll be there because they mean so much to me and they're just yeah i mean it's been what four years it's been four years for me i think yeah and again it was the second group that i really took the time to dive into and i'm still here and i'm always going to be here so yeah thank you young jay for such an incredible album like i can't get over his voice like i think i think i would have like cried my eyes out if i had been alone maybe but because his voice was so beautiful and i was just so touched that i i was just i just wanted to like bask in the glory of this song and how like grateful i was feeling throughout the entire thing because it just made me feel so loved and even that line of we'll always be together he could be saying that like between him like and us but he he can also say it for like his members like as god seven like we'll always be together like don't worry we're not going anywhere like you could interpret it that way too so yeah that was such a good album like no skip for sure i still cannot pick a favorite song but now that i'm done with the uh, album listen i'll get to listen to it again over and over and uh, maybe manage to really have a favorite because it's really hard right now because it was just that good all right well uh let me know what your favorite song was and thank you so much you also a lot of agassi a lot of people that subscribe to me just because of got seven you gave me like such a huge like i was about to say platform but like it's thanks to you that i'm here and i get to do this and that i gain like so many amazing people obviously i am a multi-stand and you never took offense to that like you and you've always been so patient because well as you know like my heart is big and that's why i managed to love so many groups but of course god seven will always hold that special place in my heart 
um, because of so many reasons. Like my channel would not be what it is today without GOT7 and without you guys. So really, thank you, thank you. And if you're still here listening to this, first of all, thank you, because I'm rambling. But also, I will we'll try to go live more often so we can talk. And, you know, not just Agassé, like a lot of my other like subscribers, obviously. Because um, I consider you like my friends and like we, we could we could discuss this album and everything else, like whatever, just talk about life, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching and listening with me. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't forget to come and like and maybe subscribe to the channel, you can also follow me here on Twitter. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.